Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with Jaspie's 14 box in it to win it basketball mixer featuring a LeBron PSA 10. What? Pop 2. Population of 2. Po population of two. <laughs> there you go. So at the, at the end of the break, we will re-randomize everybody's names and the name on top will get the LeBron. Um, and the uh, name, the second name, I guess, would be the names that, if there's any points, that, that's where all the points would go. Here are all the boxes involved right here. A couple 17, 18 boxes, one 18, 19, and uh, some 19, 20 boxes right there. Very big thank you to all of these folks right here. Thanks to the people who bought their team straight up. And congrats once again to the people who won their spots in those little uh, mosaic cello breaks. Big thanks to the teams existing for right here. And let's roll it. Let's randomize each list four and a three seven times. And you can see Nick on the Nick cam getting a head start on the uh, on the packs there. So we can make this break go a little bit more quickly. Seven times for the names. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a seventh and final time. After seven, congrats to, oh, well, thanks to Ryan. Good luck to Ryan down to Joe. All right, four and a three, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, seven times right here. Pacers down to the Wizards. All right, let's get everybody's names here. All right, Ryan with the Pacers, James B with the Hornets, Nancy with the Trailblazers, James C with the Pelicans. There you go, James B, Magic and Warriors, Christian with the Celtics, Danny with the Spurs, Matt Garner with the Hawks, Charles with the Pistons, Aaron with the Lakers, Matthew with the T-Wolves, Ryan with the Kings, Joe, Last Spot Mojo, Bucks. And all, all of those Giannis's will ship. Asa with the Nuggets. Julie, Grizzlies. John Morant hunting. Danny with the Sixers. Derek with the Heat. Brian Zeller with the Thunder. Kevin with the Cavs. Matthew with the Jazz. Joseph Elrond Wirt with the Suns. Kevin Mendoza with the Rockets. Uh, Rokio with the Bulls and the Nets. Chad with the Raptors. Steven with the Mavs. All, uh, all second year Luka Doncic's will ship too. Kurt, Clippers, James, Knicks, and Joseph with the Wizards. All right, so let's sort by column B by team. All right, so there you go. Yes, Logan. Remember, Teddy streams until about 10, 10, to 10 or 11 Pacific. So if he's not on in the middle of the night, then you can assume that he's on a break or restarting the stream. At Jaspie's Breaks on Instagram, ladies and gentlemen. He'll be back on soon. All right. Any traits? Also, here is the uh, LeBron we're giving away at the very end. This is very nice. PSA 10. LeBron James in it to win it. Very nice. Ooh, Stephen K. That number block is down to one. I feel like there. I feel like it was only. A minute ago, where it was still ten full spots left. No, let's yeah, let's lock that into the schedule. That'd be awesome. NT number block down to one. You're not paused, are you? Nope. Okay. Video is running. While Nick's ripping packs. Pacers, anybody? Maybe we'll just have to roll. Give me a second here and we'll, uh, we'll go. And Christian, you just filled it? Nice. So I know we're recording, but there is the schedule right here. So it looks like Nick. Nick has a little NT break right here. So 2019 NT NFL two box. Pick your team number five, I think, from a fresh case. 
So he'll do the number block plus the break itself. That should bring us to around 10 o'clock Pacific. And I think he, we have about an hour after that. So I'm thinking maybe more Court Kings. We can at least do, I feel like we can do at least two or three more Court Kings tonight. I think so. And then uh, maybe those Mega Boxes were close too. Refreshing. Oh man, the lemonade that comes out of the can is the best. The minute I mean, lemonade that comes out oh of the yeah, can. that's a good lemonade. It's like crap. That's a good lemonade. Man, I love all lemonades. I also like when the ice cream truck came to my neighborhood as mm -hmm, a kid, mm -hmm. and I'd get the lemonade that's frozen. Ooh, a frozen, uh, the Minute Maid frozen lemonade? Yeah, the ones that the you The one where you almost have to push, like yeah. they're like a triangle cone yeah, shape. Yeah, it's all the Dodgers. Oh yeah. man, oh, those are good too. Woo! Yeah, that's 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 some good uh, that's some good nade. That's some good nade. All right, TWC trade window. I think Nick's got enough boxes open where we can start rolling. All right, well, Brian Zeller, I guess all those Marvin Bagley's and Buddy Heald's and De'Aaron Fox's will have to go to you. All right, good luck, folks. Listen, if you have a terrible break, right, just keep thinking about this. You still have a shot at this. What's the value on? Do we did we write that? Um, well, there's only two grade, and we have both, so we kind of control the value there. What? We have both? We have there's I, a population I, of two out of grade that, that, that are graded. Yeah, and we have both. So All right. We're controlling we, the market. We've controlled the it's market. Ten million dollars. Ten million dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Million. Ten million dollars <laughs> is the value. It's nice being the controller of a market. Wow. <laughs> I feel like uh, I feel like an oil baron now. All right. I know. This is, I just feel like I just control these companies. Um, like raw, they go for I think like around two, three hundred. I want to say. All right. So, out of ten, could be. Is the other one out of ten? The other one's a ten, yeah. That we have. When they say population two, does that just mean out of tens or just in general? Out of tens, yeah. So only two out of tens exist, basically. So two PSA tens. Right. Those are the only two that ex PSA tens that exist. At the time of the post, post break, so yesterday. Nice Jason Tatum for the Celtics, for Christian. Not a hollow or anything like that, but even these base ones, even if you take the time to grade, grade this base out, 
could be pretty nice. Um, Derek, I might as well just top load everything. There's Derek Melanson with the Miami Heat. I'm gonna take some of the sort of upper tier rookies and set those aside. All the rated rookies, of course, will ship. So I mean, I don't know. Put put Ante's. I don't know about Ante's. Is it? Put. What do you think about Frank Tilakina? I mean, you never know. Here's the thing. Victor Oladipo screwed, like, it had just F's with my head. Because he was just a bust. Straight, straight up. Straight up. Mid, was he mid first round pick? Top 10 pick, maybe? I think, like, 12th or something, right? Yeah, mid first round pick, and it was pretty much done. Like, no, no one wanted him. He, got, he was, like, in two teams in one season or something like that. Bounced around. And something clicked. You know, and now? Now look at him. I'm sure. I'm sure his like prism rookie cards, silvers are doing are doing all right. Another uh, Bam out of bio for the Heat. So you never know. I mean, put Terrence Ferguson in a in in a in the back of your drawer and see what yeah, happens. I know. I guess I guess they tried. Oh yeah, Donovan Mitchell. Don't forget about him. Are they still fighting, Donovan Mitchell and, <laughs> Rudy, Gobert? and Rudy Gobert? I think they said they made up. How oh, did they make up? The team. Bam Adebayo is really coming to his own. I think Nick really likes John Collins yeah, too. Yeah, that's my right now. Buying him up. So like buy low on John. I mean, it's like we can't. You can't top load everything, you know what I mean? But that John that John Collins hold on to Matt Garner. Could be some upside there. Oh, Old was the second pick. Was he I see? That's what Christopher is saying. Anthony Bennett was one. No. Old Depot wasn't two, was he? Was he? Magic didn't have the second pick, did they? I just, I honestly don't remember. I know Bennett was one. Yeah, he was picked two. Wow. Wow. Yeah, he was a total bust then. Yeah, I mean, first team all rookie, but I mean, that's first team all rookie when, the, was, when the rookie class is Anthony Bennett, Otto well, Porter, Carter Cody Williams Zeller. Year, you know, so Alec, yeah, that so that shows, tells Bennett you what, was. that's just what level we're at. And then like that Giannis guy. Oh, and that Giannis guy, right. <laughs> So no, for the first little bit, I don't. I don't think he was. Oh, are these all the same? Yeah. So what prism is this? This is. Seventeen eighteen retail. Seventeen eighteen retail, nice. It's going in order of year. All right. There's a Wes Owundu autograph, rookie auto, silver for the Orlando Magic. That'll go to James Beadle. You mind grabbing me like two, I don't know, four regular top loads? I like the top loaders that say rookie card. There's top loaders that say rookie card on it? Yeah, oh. no. Cool. Wow. But then I would feel bad putting like a LeBron from this year. So you'd have to like, you know. You'd have to have two different pa uh, piles. Ah, the, the coveted Steve Clifford coach, Pink Pulsar. I was thinking about buying the Greg Popovich cards from this year. Maybe they're gonna, a good investment. You think they'll pop? They're, and his only card is, what is he? Probably the best coach ever, right? Oh. Well, they'll pop. I guess, yeah. oh. Or he's not the best coach ever. Right? I mean, they're Red Auerbach or Phil Jackson may have something to say about that. Yeah, but Popovich did more with less compared to Phil Jackson. Even though Duncan was good. Yeah, I mean, they had Tim Duncan and David Robinson for a yeah. little bit. Phil Jackson had Shaq, Kobe, and he had Pippen. Yeah, so, so so what, like, like Tony Parker's trash? Compared to, like, Jordan and Pippen Tony and Parker's Kobe pretty, and Shaq. Tony Parker's pretty good. Yeah, but is he only good because of the system that Popovich had? Did he have the same well, success when he was in Charlotte? No. Yeah, he got older when he was in Charlotte, yeah. Yeah. 
Although I like mine. And then there was the yeah, Ginobili. Yeah, but I mean, like Ginobili's like, come on. What the like Prime like, Ginobili? Yeah. They, 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 those Lakers Spurs series were always. Yeah, they're always battles. If I had to pick one, I'd probably pick Popovich over Phil Jackson. Yeah, Phil has the luxury of having <laughs> Michael Jordan, bat- like- Michael Jordan, and Kobe Bryant on his teams. Yeah. It's different. I mean, if you want to talk, I mean, Steve Kerr is a pretty good coach, dude. If you want to talk tactics, then maybe tactically, Pop is better. Yeah. You know, but. Phil Jackson's the kind of coach that can manage those egos, you know what I mean? And, like, that's a different kind of management. So, just if you're just talking X's and O's, Silver Harry Giles, and talk X's and O's, and, yeah, maybe maybe Pop, maybe Popovich is right up there. Well, our, yeah, our I don't think Greg Popovich has, like, themes and takes them out. Like, <laughs> no, he doesn't. I don't think he does. Mike Muscala. Matt Gardner. But Phil Jackson also doesn't have any cards in 1718 Prism. So the best coach card in 1718 Prism. What about Spolstra? Mm. No? But I'm saying, like, if you would buy. If, if you bought, you know, 100 Pavlovich cards and then holds them. Oh, remember how Kenny Atkins got did dirty? Holds them. Hold him until he like gets in the Hall of Fame. Right. Ah, oh, right, right, right. And then Spurs fans would be like, "Oh, let's go to let's go back to 1718 Prism." I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and then let's. I mean, it's his only card, probably. I guess there's a red wave Giannis for the Bucks. Joe Kroll. I guess if you had like a silver Popovich, right? PSA 10, like. I mean, people were buying those Menendez brothers cards. It's true. Yes. Yeah. Because they were like up to murder again. Yeah. Why? <laughs> why not? Why not Popovich when he's a Hall of Famer? What do you think? What do you think you do with those coaches? This is Cavs, LeBron James, Green, and when the NBA restarts. Yeah, I think they they already backtracked on that. I think they have, they have to because initially they were like, oh, you guys have to wear masks. And then the coaches' association was like, "Well, then everyone has to wear." They were mask. saying the coaches over sixty-five can't coach. Did you see that? Yeah, they walked that back real fast, yeah, right? They walked it back real fast. I mean, I think you just have to have Popovich sitting under a basket, right, and the rest of his team on the sideline or something. Yeah. On the... Then how do you do huddles and stuff? How do you do huddles? You just yell. You have to have codes. You'll you'll just be like, "We're running," you know, "Horse X." He'll be like the offensive coordinator. Horse so X on two. When they sit up in the booth. You know, yeah, and then you just have to, you just have to, you just have to have codes. Hmm. Be like football. I've never opened one of these. That's the first time I'm seeing this. So, uh, so now are we saving Eric Spolstra silvers now? No, I said. <laughs> Now, well, now I got to do it. It's going to be top loaded. And it's going to send out to you, Derek Melanson. If he comes, I mean, if he wins another championship or two, is that Hall of Fame for Eric Spolstra? Tim Quarterman for the Rockets. I know it says Blazers right there, but must have been traded to the Rockets at some point. Uh, that goes to Kevin and the Rockets. Donovan Mitchell, base rookie for the Jazz. Matthew G with that. Stack right here. Who's number three in that draft? The Suns guy? Otto Porter. He's not bad. Anthony Anthony Bennett. 
Victor Oladipo. I don't think any of the in that 2013 five, class. I don't think any of the top five are on their original drafted team. Anthony Bennett, no. Old Depot, no. Otto Porter, Wizards, no. Cody Zeller, Bobcats? No. No, he's not. He's still on Charlotte, isn't he? No. Could, I don't remember his name. Yeah, he's still with the Charlotte Hornets. Well, technically not the Bobcats anymore. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alex Len's still on the Suns, isn't he? Is he still in the NBA? Yeah, oh yeah. Alex Len's like a bat. Oh, he's on the Kings now. And look, he was in a Hawks uniform in the picture. <laughs> 19 out of 42. Hassan Whiteside. And Macklemore's not in the league. <laughs> Nerlens Noel is definitely not in the Sixers. KCP is not on the Pistons. Trey Burke is a bust. CJ McCollum's still on the Trailblazers. McCollum's good. Stephen Adams is good, too. They just paid Stephen Adams way too much, I think. Yeah. There it is, Popovich. You heard it here first, folks. Buy low on Pop. We're gonna show this video in like two years when they're like hundred bucks. <laughs> right. Me so just scoffing at you, and then it. Nick's just like, "I told you, Joe." There you go, San Antonio Spurs, Danny Connell. Prison rookie, the CJ McCollum, and Jared Allen, <clears throat> Rocchio, Elhami, with the Nets. There you go, nice Jared Allen. Right, HP's hovercraft saying, then intercut a shot of twenty twenty two Nick just throwing Benjamins in the air, <laughs> and just being like, just just like just like fan out like pop. PSA 10s, <laughs> just fan it out, yeah. and he'll just be like, what, what, <laughs> I, look at all these pop 10s, sell them for thousands of pop, yeah, Danny, you'll get a free top loader with that Popovich too, there's Markel Fultz, Sixers, Danny with that one too, that might be a, that might be a hold. A stash on the on the on the bench. I keep thinking that Markel Fultz will do something in Orlando. Kyle Korver, Pink Pulsar to forty-two. Um, Wes Unseld passed away recently. Oh, nice. Thanks, Nick. Alonzo rookies are I too. To whom to Murray. Two. Malik Monk Silver, who knows? Lonzo still Lakers edition here. There's Coach Bud. Ben Simmons a year after his rookie year on that one. And Markel Fultz, rookie card. Set a few more boxes up here. South Carolina State students have attempted to enter a segregated voting alley. Mm, we'll prison here. We'll just select a little bit later. Let's do these Donruss optics really quick. Um, Bruce Brown, so that's 1819. So Luka Doncic, Trey Young is. There he is. Uh, Eric Gordon, not numbered back there. But that will ship. That is a parallel. There's a checkerboard coming up. Jerome Robinson, Jeff Teague, and Aaron Holiday, rated rookie autograph. Holiday. 
That goes to Ryan Shackleton and the Pacers. Holiday family, well loved in Los Angeles. I think all the brothers went to UCLA. Matt Garner with the uh, Hawks. There's two Matt G's in here. Janowski and Garner. This one goes to Garner. Nice. Sorry, T Wolves. Doesn't seem like I've I've done, I haven't seen parallels like this too often. Matthew Hedges there. Indeed, a D Tyler Brenner. It's on the schedule. Got it locked in. It'll be coming up. I was working on uh, sports. My sports restart. I'll show you on the show notes. After this, here, I'll flip screens just for a second. So there's the schedule right there coming up. And I have a sports restart sort of thing going on there too, which I'll show you after the break. Because I, I can't keep track of what's going on, like with everything. So as of now, here's what I have in my notes. NBA restart, regular season, eight games, 22 teams involved, top 16 teams in both conferences, plus the six teams within six games of the eighth seed. Pelicans, Portland, San Antonio, Sacramento, Phoenix, and Washington. At the end of the regular season, East-West, ninth seeds, within four games of the eighth seed, do a play-in tournament to go into the playoffs, to be the eighth seed. The ninth seed has to win two to get in. The eighth seed only has to win one to get in. That's, that's what I got so far. After that, playoffs are a regular format. The actual playoffs are a regular format. Here's Aaron Holiday again for the Pacers rated rookie hollow. Which I, I and the NBA says they're gonna be aggressive about moving updates. So if like a, if like one series ends in ends in a sweep, they're done in four or five games, and the other series is ends in four or five games, they'll start the next round earlier. They're not gonna wait until all, all these other rounds are over. I think they're just gonna finish it, just keep starting as much as possible. They say that the last as it stands now, if nothing, if, if all the series last seven games and blah, 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 the NBA Finals, the last NBA Final game could possibly be October 12th. Could be a little bit earlier, though. And everything's going to be in Walt Disney World in Florida. So that's your NBA report for now. I mean, it could, this is as of Friday, June 5th at 721 West Coast time, L.A. time. It could, it could change tomorrow. <laughs> or by the time you someone's watching this video, it could be, could be different already. Nice Luka Doncic rated rookie for the Mavs, Stephen P. I like the... I kind of like the idea of the play-in. What do you think about that, you guys? The eighth seed playing the ninth? I mean, as in as an idea uh, that we would permanently keep? I kind of like that 8th, ninth seed battle if they're within X amount of games of each other. You know, with, with, the, with the higher seed needing to win fewer games and with the lower seed needing to win maybe an ex, that extra game, but I kind of like that. Maybe that helps with maybe that helps with pe teams that are trying to tank. You know, you'll get more pressure from fans if you're like, "Hey, you know, why don't we get into that playoff spot?" No, HP is saying weird to me having a playoff after a regular season. I think that's the compromise for for not because I think there were still like what 15, 16, 17, 18 games left. I think that was the compromise for shortening the season. I don't know, maybe it doesn't work in normal conditions.
Yeah, Zeller saying, yeah, I, I, yeah. I guess it's kind of like it's kind of like that one game wild card sort of thing. So I don't know. I think I think that could that that that, that raises my eyebrow. It makes me think that could be could be interesting, you know. All right, so we're looking at 1920 Prism Basketball right here. I think these were those Mega Box editions, right, which feature some different parallel parallels here, if I can say that word. We got Etwan Moore autograph for the Pelicans. That will be for Jimmy Connell. I wonder, just trying to figure out ways to prevent tanking. Say good Boya, red cracked ice. For the Pistons, Charles. I, uh, it's not an original idea. I heard it. Uh, I heard it on a sports talk radio host mentioned it, um, and I thought it was a great idea. I don't know if they'll ever implement it. There's Darrell Brantley, rookie penmanship for the Jazz. That'll be for Matthew. Is that the ninth seed? Right, gets the you know has the chance at the highest pick. Whereas the team that finishes last gets the gets the worst or one of the worst picks among the non-playoff teams, you know, something like that, which in theory would motivate teams to not tank. The only reason why you're tanking is for the better draft position. But what if you get rewarded for for trying but just ending up just short of a playoff spot, ending in ninth? So help that ninth seed team become a playoff team with a good draft pick so they can get over the hump and into the playoffs the following season or something like that. It's not not perfect, but maybe some, some things need to be ironed out. But I think something along those lines conceptually could be, could be a way to solve tanking if you believe that's a, a huge problem. I don't know if it's a... I mean, maybe it is a huge problem. Ooh, nice Zion and Luka. So Luka Doncic, red cracked ice. I know second year Luka Doncic is still, still do well. Steven, Steven P with the Dallas Mavericks. And a Zion Williamson, red cracked ice for Jimmy Connell who got randomized to the Pelicans, won that spot in a mini, uh, in a mini break. I'll cover some spots. Pretty nice. Brian O, what's going on? How are you? We got Evan Turner, Atlanta Hawks. Goes to Matthew Garner. It must have been traded right here.
right, next little stack right here. Good luck, everybody. We're almost done, actually. This, this went a, lot, a little more quickly than I thought it would. Let's save one of those Kobe Whites for the Bulls. Rocchio. He was playing some good ball before the season hit the pause button. I thought that was kind of weird too, Darren Redding. Yeah, I think that was like the second or third card where the player was wearing a Blazers uniform but was on a different team. Kobe. Lakers, Aaron. RIP Kobe Bryant. John Morant base. L Tran saying Evan Turner costed you three thousand dollars when he scored on a tie bet for halftime against the Lakers, thirty to one odds. Come on, Evan Turner. John Morant goes to uh, the Grizz. That'll be for Julie. So all those, I think we had a couple other John Morants there, Jules, where that will go to you. Casey Okpala, silver. Bowl, bowl, Tyler Johnson, Rudy Gay, Admiral Schofield, and Derrick Rose. All right, one more to go, folks. Yeah, they're in here. I'm gonna set that right. I did see it. I did mention that I saw the email. We'll, I'll, I'll get to it. And take a look at that. R.J. Barrett to 25. Nice, Luka Doncic. And Cameron Johnson, three color patch and autograph. Suns. That'll be for Joe. Nice Luka Doncic out of select. And a nice RJ Barrett right here, too. Is that courtside RJ Barrett? Lucas Samanic, Ricky Rubio to 25, Giannis, Taco Fall, Kyle Kuzma, Blue. With those regular discos are not numbered. There you go, and that's it. Nice Giannis as well. And nice Ricky Rubio to 25. All right, there's the break, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. The in it to win it, LeBron James, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty, pretty nice. So let's go back to the list. So everyone has a shot at winning it. So let's do that. Let's grab these names. New dice roll. No points. So just the name on top gets the LeBron after... 11 times, six and a five, good luck to everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 the final time, after 11. Congrats to, and thanks everybody for getting into this. Congrats to Rokio, there you go. I don't think I called your name out too often right here. And there you have it. Congrats to you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us, everybody. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Bye-bye.